reality of the global garment industry is a long way from the catwalk, the shopping mall or the online store. Your favourite clothing brands often use factories in some of the world's poorest countries, where working conditions are unsafe, rights are non-existent and poverty pay is rife. In 2013, more than 1,100 people were killed and another 2,000 were injured when the Rana Plaza building in Bangladesh collapsed. It housed five garment factories, making clothes for Primark, Benetton and many more. How can such abuses happen in the supply chains of household names that claim to be ethical businesses? Globalisation means brands can and will pick the cheapest suppliers worldwide, wherever weak regulations and competition for jobs keep costs low. Many brands say they're already taking action to tackle the problems, but voluntary commitments didn't protect workers from poverty pay or prevent the Rana Plaza collapse. Nearly all the brands that had their clothes made in Rana Plaza had robust standards that the factories were supposed to adhere to. They did nothing to stop thousands being killed and injured in a completely preventable disaster. Global brands need to take responsibility and make themselves truly accountable for what goes into their profit margins. That means legally enforceable, worker-centred, transparent agreements directly between them and labour organisations. The global outcry and campaigning by organisations such as those that united in the Clean Clothes Campaign Network after Rana Plaza led to the Accord on Fire and Building Safety in Bangladesh, signed by brands and Bangladeshi and international trade unions. The Accord holds factories accountable to international safety standards through inspections paid for by the brands, with results published and enforceable deadlines for improvements. It also creates a mechanism for workers to seek remedies for workplace violations beyond their immediate managers. The Accord is one example of how enforceable brand agreements can make a real difference. But it's not the only one. From freedom of association in Indonesia to combating sexual harassment in Lesotho, enforceable brand agreements are transforming the lives of some of the world's most mistreated workers. The brands won't change by themselves. Only when exposed to publicity and pressure from the workers' groups and campaigners behind the Clean Clothes Campaign's international network will they sign enforceable agreements. And only when they sign will they change. Help us to keep that pressure on.